Paul Picasso. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Inspirational Sundays. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the word. And this is episode 17. We are reading from Genesis chapter 16. Let's go. Let's read the word. Now Sarai, Abraham's wife, bare him no children, and she had a handmaid, an Egyptian, whose name was Hagar, or Hagar. Uh, verse 2, And Sarai said unto Abraham, Behold now, the Lord hath restrained me from bearing. I pray thee, go in unto my maid, it may be uh, that I may obtain children by her. And Abraham hearkened to the voice of Sarai. And Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her maid, and the Egyptian, after Abram had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her to her husband Abram to be his wife. Uh, verse 4, And he went in unto Hagar, and she conceived, and when she saw that she had conceived her mistress, was despised in her eyes. And verse 5, And Sarai said unto Abraham, My wrong be upon thee. I have given my maid into thy bosom. And when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. The Lord judge between me and thee. But Abraham said unto Sarai, Behold, thy maid is in thy hand. Do to her as it pleaseth thee. And when Sarai dealt hardly with her, she fled from her face. And the angel of the Lord found her by a fountain of water in the wilderness, by the fountain in the way to Shur. And he said, Hagar, Sarai's maid, whence camest thou, and without wilt thou go? And she said, I flee from the face of my mistress Sarai. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Return to thy mistress, and submit thyself under her hands. Verse 10, And the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply thy seed exceedingly, that it shall not be numbered for multitude. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shalt bear a son, and shalt call his name Ishmael, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction. Verse 12, And he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him, and he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Verse 13, And she called the name of the Lord that spake unto her, Thou God seest me. For she said, Have I also here looked after him that seeth me? Verse 14, Wherefore, uh, sorry, wherefore the well was called Birlahiroi, behold, it is between Kadesh and Bered. Verse 15, And Hagar bare Abram a son, and Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bare Ishmael. Verse 16 and the last, And Abram was fourscore and six years old when Hagar bare Ishmael to Abram. Here ended the reading of the Lord's word. We'd like to honor it by saying, Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. So, um, there you have it. That's uh, chapter 16 of uh, the book of Genesis. Everything in life is a trial. It's a test. Um, and we just got to make sure we pass those tests. If you have any questions or anything like that, or if there's any scripture that you do want me to, you know, skip ahead to, or just to kind of review, I can always do that in any video. Of course, leave all questions, comments down below. I will look at all of them. And again, we are partnering with Power of Faith Pentecostal Ministries, uh, located in Brampton, Ontario. Um, we do have the pastor that if any questions, obviously, that I can't answer, it will be brought to the pastor, and then I will redirect those answers back to you if you have any questions. Paul Sterling here, a.k.a. Picasso, um, another Inspirational Sundays. And uh, we will see you next Sunday, guys. Have a blessed day. Peace.